If and when we find life elsewhere, unless it's the hostile kind, it needs to be nearby. Interactions could be difficult depending on our technology at the time, so the shorter the distance, the even more thrilling it will be. In February, astronomers found a new planet in the family of Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our Sun. This is great news for the astronomical world and makes the study of exoplanets even more interesting. Welcome to Fact Nominal. In today's video, we check out our new little neighbor named Proxima d, which at only 4.2 light years away is practically right down the street. And while they prepare to point the Webb Space Telescope in that direction, let's take a look at what we've learned so far. The exoplanet search is sweeping far and wide, but sometimes when you are looking so far in the distance, you can miss something right under your nose. Alpha Centauri is our neighboring system of three stars perched just over four light years from us, and Proxima Centauri is the nearest of the three. And leading up to this new and exciting discovery, Proxima Centauri was already the home star for a pair of stunning new worlds. In 2016, astronomers located the creatively named Proxima b using the old planet hunting spectrograph, HARPS. The newly discovered exoplanet excited researchers by being almost the same size as Earth, having a mass of 1.17 of our home world and a lightning-fast orbit of 11.2 Earth days. Astronomers think it is a rocky, iron-rich planet possibly surrounded by a thin atmosphere. The great news is that Proxima b inhabits that exciting realm astronomers call the Goldilocks zone, meaning not too hot and not too cold for liquid water. Then there's, you guessed it, Proxima c, a debutante world in 2019 that may have a brilliant ring system and shares some similarities with our home world. Whether it has an atmosphere is unknown, however, but it's another super Earth we added to the roster of worlds astronomers are swiftly compiling. These are bigger and more massive than Earth, but smaller and less massive than Neptune. Proxima c is roughly six times our size. And now, drum roll please. A study published February 10th in Astronomy and Astrophysics confirms a bouncing new baby planet, and that's not nearly the best news. Proxima d is really close to its star. Really close as in less than one-tenth the distance from Mercury to the Sun close. That translates to only 2.4 million miles, and this mini-Earth whizzes around Proxima Centauri every five days. While you'd think that would make it a sizzling, hot, and barren wasteland, that's not the case at all. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf, much cooler than the Sun, with only about 12% of its mass and 14% of its diameter. That means Proxima d appears to be perfectly in the middle of its very own Goldilocks zone, meaning liquid water and thus life are real possibilities. The study's lead author, researcher Jao Faria of the Instituto de Astrofisica e Ciencias do Espaço Portugal, is excited for this nearby world and all its possibilities. The discovery shows that our closest stellar neighbor seems to be packed with interesting new worlds within reach of further study and further exploration. So, how exactly did we find this little jewel? Easy. Espresso. In the process of confirming Proxima b's existence, astronomers made observations in 2020 that suggested another planet is in the area, which of course led them to search further until they found that planet. It started with collaboration between astrophysicists in Spain, Portugal, Switzerland, Italy, Canada, and Chile. The search featured a new instrument called the E-Shell Spectrograph for Rocky Exoplanets and Stable Spectroscopic Observations, or ESPRESSO, located on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope in Chile. With ESPRESSO, astronomers use the radial velocity method, which watches for subtle changes in a star's position caused by the gravity of an orbiting planet. Subtle because planets do not register anything near the gravitational influence on their stars as their stars do on them, and only create very tiny star wobbles. Scientists have estimated that Proxima Centauri rocks back and forth 15.75 inches per second. Faria recalls finding the Haystack's needle and then intensely searching for more. We saw a tiny, tiny signal that showed up. So, over the next year or so, we gathered more observations to confirm this planet was indeed there. 
Proxima D's mass is only 26% of Earth's, but that's not to say it's the lightest exoplanet we found. Far from it. One of the first exoplanets ever discovered has a minuscule mass of only 2% of Earth's. An exciting aspect of Proxima D's discovery is that it is the lightest exoplanet ever detected using this method. And since Espresso demonstrated its value in the search, more small exoplanets are just waiting to be found. And soon, it will be assisted by the European Space Agency's Extremely Large Telescope, being built right now in the Akatama Desert Plateau of Chile. And with the James Webb Space Telescope joining the team, the field of exoplanet hunting grows more exciting every day. Humanity's knowledge of exoplanets is growing exponentially. Just six months before this super light proximity was discovered, the previous lightweight record holder was located by using the same observatory in Chile and the same radial velocity method. That star L98-59 has four detected planets and astronomers suspect a fifth. The now dethroned lightweight champ is the innermost planet in the system and has only half of the mass of Venus. The first three exoplanets found at L98-59 were detected with the transit method, which measures the dip in light when the suspected planet passes between the star and Earth-bound observer. From what we know about planets, our solar system seems rather stable. Eight worlds orbiting the Sun within a few degrees of a flat plane with dozens of moons circling them paints a rather orderly picture. Late in 2021, a new study published in Astronomy and Astrophysics detailed a system 150 light-years away in the constellation Pisces. The star HD3167 has three orbiting planets detected thus far, but that's not the unusual part. The orbits of all three could easily fit into Mercury's orbit and transit HD3167, and new techniques employed by researchers in 2019 uncovered something astronomers had not yet seen. The outermost of the worlds is in perpendicular orbit, circling its host star's pole and not its equatorial plane. And now they believe the middle exoplanet is also virtually perpendicular. What does this mean? The research continues, but for now, the team believes that a much more massive world may be in the outer part of the system. This giant could have misaligned the orbits of the two perpendicular planets, while the innermost may be close enough to HD3167 that the influence of this theoretical behemoth world is nullified. And before you think we've surveyed our neighborhood completely for these homes away from home, we have barely scratched the Milky Way surface. The James Webb Space Telescope has reached its destination, is chilling down to proper temperature, and has demonstrated that its eyes are open by taking its first fuzzy pictures. When fully functional, hopefully by the summer, Webb will tell us more about the atmospheres of exoplanets, and perhaps even find the building blocks of life elsewhere in the universe. NASA's Exoplanet Hunter, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, has been wildly successful and it's just getting started. In under four years, nearly 5,000 potential alien worlds have been discovered by using data that is being studied for confirmation at this very minute. To be clear, these are not at all or even mostly confirmed. There is a time lag between being a suspect and being official, but the process has begun for thousands of hopeful exoplanets. And since the joint project between NASA and MIT has been extended to 2025, there are many more alien worlds likely to be found. Beyond the enthralling world of exoplanets are discoveries of what astronomers call rogue planets. These free-floating nomads of the universe have become so either by detaching from their original host star or being formed far away from stars. Like a band of renegades wandering the Wild West, a horde of 70 rogue planets at least the size of Jupiter has been discovered hurtling through space. Many are so young they still carry residual heat from their birth, meaning they are detectable in ways that exoplanets are not. Rogues with nowhere to go and all eternity to get there. So, what do you think about the newest addition to our cosmic neighborhood? This tiny and lightweight world makes at least three orbiting the nearest star to the sun, and the possibilities of liquid water and thus life are very exciting. Do you agree? Tell us in the comments, and as always, thank you for watching Factnominal.